Oh, how are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what I'm going to bring you today? Today the topic is called What do you mean by discrepancies in decision making? <laughs> So for awesome suggestions and advices, put me through the link below as I will bring you and give you awesome insights into what you need for your profession and your organization. Okay, let's get back to the topic now. The concepts relevant to decision making can be helpful in several ways, for example, to read, for reading about and discussing it with peers and other ways uh, relevant to uh, the decision making uh, to, is to build the decisional uh, issues or procedures to resolve and it can broaden administrators' perspectives and help them to recognize the discrepancies between their uh, leadership approach and approach that may be more effective. For leadership on priority setting, watch the video on the link above. And also subscribe to my channel by hitting the button so you will not miss anything as I bring you new insights and new ingredients and new topics every Monday. So let's get back to the topic again. So the question is, how do you realize the discrepancies in decision making? According to notes in 1982, is to contain the organized knowledge and enables that enables the administrators to um, analyze those discrepancies and consider alternative strategies. And also for finding research and conclusions from the experiences of others can be woven into the strategies and use it for critique. And also to realize that the uh, effective ways that strengthen the decision making process is um, they are the uh, developmental and evolutionary. And also to realize that the knowledge that must be, must be combined with the courage to act in order to benefit the decision making process. If you like the video, remember to give a thumbs up and share it with your friend. And for content related to decision making or staff selection, watch the video from above. Okay, let's get back to the topic again. Not, uh, Knox uh, stated when encounter you define or confront a familiar problems, it is wise to change the um, procedures for the problem solving and decision making accordingly. Why? Because decision making is not one way. It involves other party or parties and their important decision that needs decision making process to reach the common goals. Why? Because decision making involves or covers, for example, the uh, priority setting, for example, resource allocation, marketing, and also, uh, for example, the program coordination, and also staffing, and also covers external relations. So, a decision. So, therefore, it is um, essential to help those involved to recognize the discrepancies between the procedures that they use and the discrepancies that other administrators have found helpful. So um, for useful content on uh, related on decision making on staff appraisal, watch the video from the link above. And also subscribe to my channel by hitting the button so you will not miss anything as I bring you new insights, new ingredients and new topics every Monday. And also for awesome suggestions and advices, put me through the link below as I will give you awesome insights into what you need for your profession and your organization. Finally, thank you very much for tuning in today. Until next week and goodbye.